son of a bitch. Don't fire me. I'll fire you. I can play both right. too, man. Who turns the mic off right when somebody else has to grab it? Well, that'll be the drunk guy that gave it to you. Me. Alright, what is going on, coaches? I am bringing sexy back tonight. No, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing sexy back. It didn't fit. I like what you find. Um, sexy, it's, you can tell it's, it's expired. Um, no, I don't have a receipt. Can I see your manager? The sexy didn't fit. I, uh, I got this hat. I love this hat. I know you guys are like, oh, that's a fucking awesome hat. I know, right? I wore it because I wanted it to look like the gay Inspector Gadget. Like, I just, I just, like, go, go, Gadget, hey! Go, 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 your hand. Yeah. I always wanted that hand to pop out and pitch like somebody. We're gonna need a lot of this tonight, aren't we, Cookies? Yeah. I like to think that, uh, when I drink, I can read minds. And uh, I can tell what everybody's thinking. What an asshole. Right? Yeah. Nobody ever has a different thought than that when I drink. It's weird. My sponsor thinks the same thing. I like to ruminate on that a little bit. I like the word ruminate. So, Earlier, I'm wearing this tie. I like this tie. It's my favorite tie. Earlier in the bar, and a girl just grabs it. Doesn't care. Doesn't ask my permission. Just grabs it. And I'm thinking, okay, it's a tie. That's cool. But this isn't the first time this happens. I have a belt buckle at home, and it's like the Nintendo controller belt buckle. And it's also, here's the thing though. You wear a belt buckle like that, girls think they can just come up and like start playing with it. And they're, they're being. Basically, it's like, you keep playing with that, you're going to have a joystick to play with in a second. Like, you're not going to have a lot of choices. Um, wow. Damn. 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 What you say to that? I, uh... I hope you know that people are going to get... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where the fuck was I? Um... Whew. Is that what Mojo feels like? Yeah. Like I just dropped my ball. You know, and then puberty finished. You know, um... I had it somewhere I was going, I got distracted by a girl grabbing my nuts. You say it out loud, you think that would happen, but uh, there you go. God. So much of the depression I was going through. I was actually going to talk about that next. I was going to talk about my depression lately. And shit's gone. Dude, it fuck like, uh, what is it, like love ball or whatever the drugs are for curing depression. Fuck them. Girl grabs your nuts, you're happy. <laughs> you do not need a prescription for that. It's, uh, it's water ripper. My doctor recommended you grab my nuts at. <laughs> Said it would help cure my depression. <laughs> well, um, I was actually, you know what's great is, uh, it's a little strange. Being a procrastinator, Works out. It saved my life a couple times because being a suicidal procrastinator never quite works out. Because you're like, God, I want to kill myself. But Grey's Anatomy is about to come on. And I could open a vein, but I want to know what happened with the green. And then you're having to do that, and you're like, oh, God, that was private practice. Maybe I should just do this tomorrow. Yeah. Call the suicide hotline when depressed. I didn't even know they could do this, but they put me on hold. 
<laughs> what kind of fucked up suicide hotline put you on hold? It's like, I'm gonna kill myself, and I don't wanna live here. Could you just hold on one second? Yeah. Me and Hilberto are gonna wrap up the conversation. We're gonna finish. Well, what's kind of all weird though is the, the whole music when you get put on hold and suicide hotline, it was fucking Van Halen's junk. <laughs> It's just like you're calling us this enough. Go ahead and show it to him. Jesus. You think it'd be like Wilson and Phillips, like, oh, no. No, but no, fucking jump. Jesus. Uh, Might as well be when the lights went down in Georgia. Or some other depressing shit. Like, the worst songs you could ever imagine getting put on hold to when you call the suicide outlier. It's like, Open arms, journey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm like a pill, paint. <laughs> Jesus. I, it's like you call and you want to help with your problems, and then you suddenly feel responsible for Kelly Clarkson's problems. Like, I'm going to drink you from the curb, or whatever the fuck that song's about. Man. Oh, beer is good. I like beer. Yeah, yeah. I say that just for the booze. Um. Did you just talk about my nuts too? Oh, no, beer is not better than nut grabbing. You obviously have not had your nuts grabbed recently. If you think this is better than having your nuts, like, you know, juggle. You have been. I want to drink the beer you're drinking. Honestly, like, actually, I would buy that beer. Nut jugglers. I would. I would pick that up. I would. I would. I would guzzle the nut juggler beer. That's all. I'm saying. My name is Brian Wall. You guys may.